Hello and welcome to the Self-Leadership Podcast. I'm Morgan and I'm here to help you embody your leader self and become unshakable through energy healing techniques and personal development coaching. So today I want to talk about something that is not really spoken about and often underestimated or under taken into consideration, if I may say so. So... That is to say, the reason why nothing seems to be working or moving the needle forward in your business or in your career and why you might feel stuck also in your relationships in spite of taking actions, in spite of doing the inner work, being self-aware, etc. So... You could have all the strategies in the world, whether it is for business or relationship tips. If there is one of these things, so there are several, but today I'm just going to tackle one. If this thing is in your way, you're going to keep hitting walls. And that thing is past life contracts and more specifically past life vows. So... What is a vow, you may ask? So to me, and I see this a lot in my energy cleanse sessions with my clients, so vows are like a strong wish. And usually there is a strong decision based on fact and strong emotional response. So vows are a form of contract that you make with yourself For example, a vow to stay celibate, a vow of punishment or self-punishment, a vow of selfless service. And these are the easiest to break, okay? Uh, Of course, they can create false beliefs and blocks because it's like something shut down in that past life in question. And they're based on a personal decision, right? So even if there is an emotional charge, it's not always as heavy as the vows that you make with another being or with the quote-unquote authority. What do I mean by authority? I mean an organization that you see as an authority, as a form of power or a powerful organization or group. So... I want to give examples of vows that you make that involve someone else. Vow of devotion, vow of servitude, vow of loyalty, for example. Vow of obedience or exclusivity, okay? And here are a few examples of vows that you make with what I call an authority. That can be religious vows, like a vow of celibacy, a vow of selfless service, a vow of poverty. You are in service to your community and you are not allowing yourself to receive money or you're not allowed to receive money for it. And that was the case in the past for, you know, healers and even people in churches or nuns or monks. Vows when you enter a cult for example, a secret society or and any form of devotions towards another being, living being or disembodied being, like uh, a god or a spirit uh, of any kind. I'm talking in general here. Vow of poverty, vow of silence. And also when they involve a quote-unquote bigger cause, like sacrificing yourself for your community, for humanity, whatever it might be, okay? So there is no judgment here, okay? Vows are neither good or bad. They are. Everyone can make them for different reasons. So whether you have made them in this life or in a past life, uh, it's important to know that it is what it is, okay? But the, it's also important to know that you can break that if you are feeling stuck. And some past life vows and contracts more generally can still affect us in this lifetime, especially if you don't have any conscious memory of when a pattern started, as if you were born with it. 
or it only appeared or came up to your consciousness when you started your business, for example, or when you went through a life transition of any kind. That's something resurfaced that you were never struggling with before because something was stirring it up. Or if, if it's something that you have been noticing over and over again all your life, like a theme or a pattern repeating in different areas of life, including in business or relationship. Uh, for example, you feel awkward when you receive a gift or a compliment or money. Um, even if it's a gift for your birthday, you know, it's your birthday, but you're still awkward and it's even more awkward for you to receive if it's like for no reason. Like the, the human being in question who is giving you a gift just wants to celebrate you or just show their appreciation. And it's like, oh, okay, like awkward. Thank you very much, but not really knowing what to say. So, and I'm not even talking about money in exchange for your services because that can be a little bit tricky. So, why can past life vows create blocks? Because they became outdated and they need to be broken for a lesson to be learned and for information to be brought to your consciousness. So, for example, you don't need to punish yourself, you are good enough and you deserve to receive prosperity, love, whatever it is that you're wanting to receive, okay? But then one incarnation ends and the vows weren't broken. So they are like reconducted from one life to the next. To talk in the big lines, okay? Not all vows are, it depends on many factors, but it can be, okay? So... A few signs can be you're struggling to accept that you are worthy of being paid for your services, you need to undercharge, you have guilt. This can show a vow of poverty in a past life and you vow to be of service to your community. Now you're a service provider and you're seeing yourself struggling. Okay? And it's more common for service providers than for people who are actually selling products because we live in a physical world, right? So physical product, it's easier for our mind to see the value of a physical product. Well, that's how we are. You are way too hard on yourself if things don't go as you had hoped or planned. That can be a vow of self-punishment or repenting for sins, for example. Feeling everything from your clients or for people in general or from your loved ones. That could be uh, like over empathy, like extreme empathy that is actually doing you a disservice. And that could be the vow of selfless service, like I was saying, or feeling that you cannot be yourself or you cannot be vulnerable because you will be punished or you have to be impeccable or watch your back all the time. And this can even go to the extent of feeling observed. And this can sometimes be, well, it can be several things, but here I'm talking about vows. So religious vows, vow of obedience, devotion, or servitude. So, of course, you can break all vows, right? My intention here is to make you aware that there is nothing wrong with you. You know, you are the strategy in your business. Your personality is what is going to attract your partner, whatever you're trying to achieve in your life, right? So you are worthy and there is nothing wrong with you. I will just end this episode by saying that if in spite of your actions, your physical actions that you're doing, in your business, in your life, to get to your desired results. And you're not seeing any apparent results of those actions. Like you feel you're uh, like a, a little hamster running in the, in the wheel. If you feel that you are walking in quicksand, you might want to consider the energy aspect. And we can break vows with an energy cleanse, or we can also break it with a recalibration session. 
So I'm inviting you to book your free discovery call, your free clarity call, if you would like to talk about what you're going through so you can have a more precise idea of that thing in question that you are facing and we can talk about it. This I will just remind you that clarity calls are free. They are 20 minutes, we just chat. They are called clarity calls because they are designed to bring you clarity. And like I always say, if we feel that we are a good fit and if you consent to hearing more about my services, then I will tell you more about the details. Okay? Your consent is very important. I'm not forcing anything on you. You know, it's you're not going to be tricked into like a clarity call does not engage you in anything except showing up at the time when you book the call. That's all. Okay? So thank you very much for listening. I hope this helps and uh, that gives you hope in case you were feeling stuck. The energy aspect is something that can always help you get quote unquote unstuck. Okay. So it's not that you're stuck. It's just a change of perspective that is needed. Okay. And I can help you with that. So I'm inviting you to check the description of this podcast for the links and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you. Take care.